Uh, Lord Griffiths of uh, Barryport. My Lords, I was in receipt of uh, free meals throughout my entire school career. My mother, a single woman, her only income was the contributions of the national assistance. We lived in one room. I remember very clearly, I can still taste and smell it, the mounting panic ahead of school holidays because the income we had could not stretch to feeding two boys and a mother in that day. Marcus, Rashford and I have this and probably only this in common. We remember, not in our heads, but in our whole bodies. An old Etonian, of course, can't be expected to have had the same experience. Some local councils will draw money in the way that the government is suggesting from allocations they've received. Other local authorities won't. Some communities will rise to the challenge. Other communities won't. Some children will get through. Most won't. Can the, can the noble lady, the minister, give us some reassurance, not hide behind global figures, and understand that postcode lottery is not a formula that's destined to help the well-being of our children? Uh, my lords, um, many noble lords of all parties and none can recall circumstances in which their own needs, whether that be housing or food, were not met through the circumstances of uh, their family. Um, there are indeed, it is not a postcode lottery, 1.4 million children in England are entitled to free school meals, um, saving their families over £400 um, a year. And in addition to that, particularly through the soft drinks levy, the government has in nearly 2,000 500 schools have been, been funding now breakfast clubs to provide children with healthy food.